Alaska is America's last great wild frontier. And its fish are as wild and big as its other wildlife. Well, Scott, we're in some deep water now, and this is a big leadhead and a big Berkeley power bait tail. Right. I'm gonna drop it down here, and uh, hopefully we're gonna find a big yellow eye, right? That's a good yellow eye or ling cod. There's all kinds of fish around here, but right. big bait, big fish. That's a good looking bait. Let's drop it down there and see right, what we can go. find. Sitka, Alaska is home to the Kingfisher Lodge, which caters to fishermen from all over the world. People come here to pursue the area's incredible variety of species, which includes ling cod, halibut, several species of salmon, and numerous species of colorful and tasty rockfish. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Got him, I got him. All right. Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM. Hi, welcome to another episode of Sport Fishing Television. I'm John Brownlee, your host. Today we find ourselves in Sitka, Alaska, fishing for all sorts of great stuff in this incredible part of the world. Pick him up, nice and easy. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish, that man. That is a beautiful fish. Yeah, it is. On the Berkeley Power Bait. I love catching them on artificial, man. It's amazing. Isn't that These cool? things, look at the tail on that thing as well. Oh, he chewed it, chewed it to pieces. That guy but still there. Oh, yeah, look at that. You know, these are hardy fish. You know, some people worry about having a fish out of water. Right. This is one of those fish that you can bring up and it'll just thrash around and be okay. And I think this is one of those fish that, that evolution missed. <laughs> I think these were probably the same a million years ago. Okay, so we're going to just put this at one end now. All right. This has got to be within 35 inches. See that tail right there? That is really, really close. Ultra close. That is really close. So this is 36 with you being just a little bit past. Yeah. So this is over our limit. So we're gonna have to let this one go. Okay, fine with me. All right, beautiful fish show. Look at the coloration on this. Some yeah. people say, oh, it's such an ugly fish. I think they're beautiful. They've just got such a unique color. And Scott, we've had this fish out of the water long enough. Let's go ahead and get him back in. We've decided he's not a keeper. Time to let him go. Totally agree. Let's Thanks, start. buddy. See ya. Perfect. That was cool, man. On an Great artificial. Job. I love that. Sitka sits on Baranoff Island in remote southwestern Alaska. The town was founded next to a vast natural harbor, the largest in all of Alaska. Tell me what we're doing here, Scott. We've got the downriggers deployed. We've got big downrigger balls, two rods ready to go. What's the game plan? We've got hoochies over here. We're gonna put it behind a nice Sabinel flasher, basically trail it back behind the boat. We'd be using downriggers. These downrigger balls are 12 pounds. They'll drop the gear down. There's a clip here that will just attach to our line. Right. When a fish hits, it'll pop out of that clip and it'll be all you on that reel. And How line. deep uh, do you take the hoochie rig down? Whatever I spot on the on the screen. You'll on the try scope. to raise and lower it to the Exactly. Uh, I'll move it up fish. and down all day long, but, but today we're going to try probably about 80, 90 feet. I get that. Exactly. Let's try it. Should we go? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Can't catch a fish with your hook in the boat. Hey, right there, right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Got it? Yeah, I think so. Somebody. That looks pretty good, John. Look at the weight that the thing is creating. Yeah. Check that out. Like a little salmon. Look at that. <laughs> Does not want what we are selling. Oh, what a beautiful day. You got salmon, sunshine. Hey, it's only held by one hook. Wow, look at that. All right, you ready? And there he is. Beautiful, beautiful fish, wow. Gorgeous, man. That's a uh, incredible fish, it's yeah. like a mirror. It's beautiful. Look at the scale retention. Yeah. In a commercial level, like if, if I was going to market, that's the fish that you'd see in the ice. That's what the consumer is going to buy. It's a beautiful fish, and it's going to make a beautiful salmon dinner. Let's put them in the box and get another one. Let's do it. All right. Hey, that was quick. How about that, buddy? Nice job. Coming up. Hey, I think I got something here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Woo! That is awesome. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram, 
is brought to you by Ram, engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. By Yellowfin, the choice of champions. By the new Simrad NSS touchscreen display. And by Mercury Marine. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram. Alaskan ports have huge tides, and Sitka is no exception. During our trip, falling barometric pressure brought on inclement weather and rough seas. Air temperatures were around 50 degrees. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television. We're fishing in Sitka, Alaska with Captain Scott Miller, and we've got a nice coho salmon right here at the side of the boat. All right, that looks great. It's a pretty fish, Scott. Oh, that's nice size. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. pretty one. Beautiful. Really nice. Beautiful. I'll lead them right to you. This thing's hooked really well. Yeah, come on in. Look at that guy. Wow. That's a fat one. Look at that. Wow. He hooked in the top of the head. He was hooked in the mouth. And the that? top. Yeah, he's yeah, got to got it both ways. That's, oh, he's hooked really well. One of the reasons you have a snail hook is so you can do just that. Right. Basically, you have a backup hook. Yep. But he's, that, in this he's, case, hit the head. This, he's this, hooked super good. He was hooked great. And that's a great looking fish, too. Yeah, it is. Look beautiful. how fat he is. It's beautiful. Probably a thing. she, right? Yeah, good, good chance of that because of the eggs. Yeah. Right. Wow. Oh, I'm loving that. That's beautiful. Shall we put this thing down? Absolutely. OK, let's do it. Before we put them back out, you know, there's one thing I've noticed about Alaska that's, that's sort of like Florida where I'm from is that, you know, your weather changes a lot. I mean, they say in Florida, if you don't like the weather, wait 30 minutes and it'll change. It's sort of like that here. People that live here say that usually when we have summer, they say it happened one day. Right. But it's not always the case. This summer's been pretty rainy. We're a rain for us. But actually, some summers are just absolutely spectacular. And you can see today, too, looking around the mountains. Right. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, it is. And uh, they say that in Maine. I guess it's true in Alaska, too, that summer's the best two weeks of the year. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> let's get another fish. All right, let's go. <laughs> Scott, let's try a little uh, jigging here. We, uh, we got some Berkeley Power Bait and some Berkeley Gulp. What I've done with this, this gulp actually comes out as a, as a herring look, and I just took the head off that, put it onto a regular jig. Nice. And you basically have the advantage of Berkeley with what we use around here. There we go. Going down. Hey, I think I got something here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's it. I like that. Got little shoulders to them. Hey, you're doing great on that, John. You can tell you fish a lot. I have fished before. <laughs> here he is. Look at that. A it ling. is a ling. Check that out. That is a ling on a, this is a rose thorn. Is the fish it's on? Right. So you've got a small little fish on that. Ling often do that. So the rose thorn ate it, and the ling ate the rose thorn. Exactly. We've seen ling cod eat ling cod. It's awesome. We've seen a ling cod eat a fish, and then the ling cod eat that ling cod. Just basically bite on. If you look at their teeth, I'll bring this up for you. It's pretty impressive. Here we go. Oh, look wow, at that look at that. <laughs> look at that. That thing is like prehistoric looking, man. Hey, we got that hook out. OK, good job. So this right here, this is a rose thorn. Let's see if I can get my hand in there with that. Rose thorn. Yeah, don't let them get your fingers. Getting Those stuck. are bad looking teeth. Let's see if I can shake them out a little bit. Wow. This thing was small enough, we couldn't even see the hit. Yep. It's yep. kind of a rough day, and so right. you didn't even know. But this thing, we you had to get that. this thing on. Yeah, we knew it. Look at these fins. They look like something off a dinosaur. They're amazing. He's outside the slot limit, right? Definitely outside. Yeah. But let's go and get him back. All right. Send him back where he came from. None the worse for wear. See ya. All right, man. Thank you. That was very cool. It was awesome. A rose thorn. Ben International 30 reels were matched to international rods. 
We used Berkeley Prospect fluorocarbon leaders on species other than halibut, plus Berkeley Gulp and Powerbait artificials. Oh, this is the oh, real oh. deal. Yeah! Look at that thing. Yeah! Yeah! That's Whoa. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram, is being brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. By Berkeley Gulp Saltwater, outfishes all other bait. And by King Sailfish Mounts, offering a full selection of world-class release mounts. And now, let's take a look at this week's Driven to Fish, powered by Ram. One of the hottest selling items over the last year has been the Structure Scan Sonar Imaging System. What this consists of is a dedicated transducer and black box module that gets networked into any one of our NS multifunction displays. What this now gives us is the ability to look to the left, to the right of the vessel, as well as down scan in picture like quality. We have the ability to scroll back in time to find interesting structure or bottom to be used for fishing or diving and by simply touching that spot on the screen we can now see how far to the left or the right that object is as well as how far behind and what our heading is back to that object. The salmon and lingcod were great sport on lighter tackle, but we were hoping to tie into something more substantial, a large halibut. As the weather worsened, we decided to make a move. So Scott, we've taken a little run from Sitka. We're anchored up about 10 miles offshore, pretty deep water, looking for some big halibut, right? That's exactly what we're doing. We're going to use this rod here with the, the mono line. We've got a special setup here. This is what we use for halibut. Now tell me why you use the cord instead of, say, heavy monofilament. Well, this is something that we actually, we started out commercially using the same kind of ganyan material. It's right. super powerful, super strong. What we found in the sport industry is that this same ganyan is awesome for catching halibut. That's a good looking clump of stuff right there. If I was a halibut, I'd swim up and eat that. That's what we're hoping. This is exactly. a combination of salmon, gills, guts, and a little piece of herring sticking right out there. You ready to go? Yes, sir. Let's put it in. Let's go. All right, going down. First floor, lawn equipment, fertilizer, lady shoes. Look at that thing. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Feels good. Although now, it's starting it to felt real up. strong and it's kind of lightened there it up. There you go. The halibut aren't really like salmon. They don't typically swim toward you. We but like you can that. tell, look at the bend of that thing. Yeah, he just realized he was hooked, I think. Nice. Ooh, oh, 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 look at that look at bend, that. man. You can hold that fish as long as that rod is bent. Right. You can stay in that position for as long as you want it to. But don't do it very long because you create momentum and you keep the fish disoriented. Keep them exactly. moving. We're very close. Nice, nice fish. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful Man. fish. Look at that. Awesome. That is beautiful. Oh. OK, we got to take them over to the other side. Are you ready to Get go? them to the transom. Okay, Why don't you go out on the gate? Yeah. All right. Got it? Yeah, just got to okay. watch the trim tabs. Hang on a sec. I'll come right here. You're good. You got it? I got it. OK, you got oh, it. Oh, no, I don't have it. Yes, okay, I have it. it. OK. All right. You bring him in and measure him? I think so. You know what? I'm going to just pull that thing in. Yeah. 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 That's Whoa. what I'm talking about. Whoa. OK, watch that. Watch Whoa. out. Whoa. Whoa. That awesome. is a nice fish. OK, wow. keep your rod up. All right, rod keep your rod up. Rod's out of the way. <laughs> this Full is what contact. We, we call this a hot fish. You can let go. let go of the rod. I got it. I understand why you call it a hot fish. You see how you put water on that thing? It knows something's normal. Calms it right down. You want to measure them like this? You want to flip them over? I want to take it just like this. We'll just leave everything in place. Let's okay. go ahead and measure it. Let's do it. Here. You got to make sure it's right on the end there. OK, we need this to be over 68 inches. It is right at 67. 
So close. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Let's go in and put her back in. All right. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh. All right, dude. How cool was that? That was incredible. Now tell me, how big was that fish, do you suppose? Well, we know it was 66 inches. So right? on the chart, that's somewhere between 140 and 150. That was an amazing fish. She was beautiful. You know, and those I, are the breeders, right? That's why you're letting them exactly, go. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Anything within that 45 to, to 68 range, without conservation, we're not going to have a resource. Okay. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 I like it. Oh my God. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram, has been brought to you by Ex Officio, made to adventure. By Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. By Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by PowerPole, swift, silent, secure. The quaint seaside town of Sitka is world-renowned for trophy salmon, tackle-busting halibut, ling cod, rockfish, and more. We joined the friendly staff at Kingfisher Charters and Lodge to experience their turnkey full-service operation. After a hearty buffet breakfast each morning, we met up with Scott Miller, one of their many top-notch guides. Within minutes, we were fishing in what can only be described as National Geographic country. The lodge, built on a secluded hillside overlooking snow-capped mountains and the pristine Sitka Sound, was our comfortable home away from home. Spacious living rooms with cozy couches, TV, wireless internet, full kitchens, several guest rooms with private bathrooms. While you relax and prepare for a gourmet dinner, your daily catch is filleted, vacuum packed, flash frozen, boxed, labeled, and stored in a freezer till you're ready for your journey home. If you and yours are searching for that once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure, consider Kingfisher Charters and Lodge in Sitka. You may go home with sore arms, but I promise it'll be worth it. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television in Sitka, Alaska. We just let a big one go. We're about to drop another salmon head, guts, gills, a conglomeration of bloody meat that they love. <laughs> Down to the bottom to see if we can catch another one. Let's go, Scott. And down we go. Targeting halibut means fishing baits deep. In this case, 350 feet of water. OK, here we, here we go, here we go, here we go. He is going, buddy. That looks like a nice one, John. He took off. Oh, 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 I like it. This could be our boy. Isn't that crazy how you spend so long waiting? I and mean, when you see the reward of the big fish you're going to get, yeah. it makes it all worth it. Help me off with this jacket, will you? Yep, we got you. Cool. There get her? Go. Yeah. All right. Let's lose this jacket, too. I'm burning up. <laughs> See, pretty soon you'll be in your T-shirt. We'll I will. Be a, a true Alaska. I'll be moving to Alaska. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I think I just saw a color. It looked like it was pretty close. There it is. OK. Oh, that's a nice it's fish. It's a nice Don. one. Oh, man. OK, OK, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Woo! That is awesome. Let's do them. Just go ahead and let it go back with the current. Okay. We're gonna pull it right in here. Okay. Here we go. I got it. Okay, come up, come up, come up. It's gonna be close. It's tired, so I think we got a good shot. Okay, ready? Hang on, buddy, hang on. Here we go. Come on, Help. buddy, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Okay, okay, got it? I got it. Okay. Go! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh my God! I'd say that is a halibut, dude. That's a freaking huge halibut. Woo! You did it. Nice shot. Okay, John, just put that right to the middle of the tail. Okay. There got you it. go. So it's got to be over 68 inches. No, this one's 75 and a half inches. You got a <laughs> record there. That's awesome. We call that a keeper. Woo!
I'll tell you what, you know what that is? 230 pounds. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. 230 pounds on the charts. Wow. Woo. That's by far the biggest halibut I ever caught. I was thinking it was 100 pounds. 100 is good. 100 pounds. 230? I'll take 230 all day long, brother. <laughs> How many halibut sandwiches do you suppose that might make? I'm thinking you could feed your whole family. Thank awesome you job, so John. Much. You that did was, awesome. That was cool. You did awesome. Worth the trip right there. Worth the price of admission. Scott, I want to thank you for a great trip. We obviously caught some huge fish, including this beast of a halibut, 230 pounds. It was amazing. We saw amazing scenery. We have met great people. Sitka, Alaska has lived up to everything I thought it would be, and I want to thank you for a great trip. And folks, if you're coming to Alaska, you got to look up Captain Scott Miller and Kingfisher Charters and Lodge. It's absolutely the best there is, and it's the place to be if you're going to Sitka. Let's do it again real soon, Scott. I'd love it, John. Thanks for coming. Closed captioning provided by King Sailfish Mounts. Join us next time on Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram as we head to the Mississippi Gulf Coast for some incredible inshore action with redfish, <laughs> speckled trout, and lots more. Man, that was awesome. Wow.